am I not my brother's keeper? Sure. America has the most sophisticated, advanced military in the world. Absolutely. And if we don't use that to defend our allies, then America is being a very bad ally. Yeah. So, so my background is I'm, I'm former Army Special Forces. I've got two combat tours over in Iraq, one in 06, one in 2008. What I don't like is the way that our, for, our current foreign policy seems to, to operate is that it's, an, it's incredibly um, erratic. Um, and we don't follow the constitutional process in order to determine whether or not we are going to intervene. So it's not that I'm a non-interventionist in the sense that I don't think war is ever necessary, right? I'm not a pacifist. Um, you know, the whole idea of the non-aggression principle is I'm not going to aggress against you, but if you aggress against me, and, and even to some degree if you aggress against my neighbor, well then yes, I'm going to step in in order to defend you. But I believe in following the constitutional process very strictly, and here's why. I know what it's like to be on the shooting end of a war that gets unpopular because we didn't follow the constitutional process, right? Because the legislator abdicated its responsibility to take ownership of whatever that conflict was. Because here's, what, here's the dirty little secret about politicians. They love to take credit for things when it's going well, and they love to give, you know, they love to blame somebody else when it's going poorly. And that's been our experience ever since the War Powers Act. Ever since we decided to hand over extreme authority to the executive branch of government, when we decide to get involved into a, a conflict, the legislature says, well, we'll pay for it. We're not saying we like it, but, but we'll let you spend the money on it. And it gives them this out. No, you don't get an out. If you believe that the conflict is so important that you're willing to send young men and women overseas to die for it, then I expect you to display an ounce of the courage you expect out of them. <laughs>